much check one to subidem pulida bulonji baganda wang of course but then patrolling social media platform with the zenja oro jenguri deku bakabuno bwamani nyo al jazeera a profile in the uganda expedition is about this jazz kolewa ne change jazere sewo from you know physical protests on the streets a ingri je chivuzo bulonji ingri je expound is a song in bulonji nyo ne jitu si girafe abana uganda te nensi yo na okweto olola awamu nao Mucha juki la bulungi recently president huyaba denga uh, yogera keri ya guanga. Uh, ina statement jia kola ona gamba antino. Of course, uh, mukongo wali utalo. Emilioni emilioni zabantu zifude. Ukraini wali utalo. Ngachage zako kugamba anti si Uganda yukai limu kusafaringa. Ate si Uganda yukai yetaga attention. Na yoru ensonga. Nti, international media platform zizino. Zicha asoro tuwa andi kako. Tucha asoro kukapichalinga attention ya international media platforms chiva kubukulembeze era azita contacts chiva chitu yamba nyo 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 kugambi wabangu wali utalu mkongo wabangu wali utalu mu ukraine everywhere eri gaza and, and and so on na yinga international media platforms zizi nozi bbc the cnn the arigazela no kwe tolola africa yona and beyond africa nga zicha suru tu andika ko it's a plus era chiva kubukulembeze oyu aba kutomu muli umkulembezo uyu aba tukwati domu muli kizamu nyo amanyi kuba ensonga afe ebera exposing bwa ncio na era buli omwa abera amanya chichi ekigenda maso mu Uganda so baden patrolling out jangwiri de ku atikem ngesiga bulunje chifana nyiku exhibitions zibade zikolebwa Uganda parameter exhibitions of course nenda lazo nazo nazo na ba ah Jim Spire Sentongo amune team ye zibade bajja bakola Sometimes we wengwa ku articles ngazi no ya nzija ne tuzita mu era ne mutegera NC etuwandika coach out of there kuba tebina kusigala mu buwandi kabantu abamuti bagala nyo kusoma bintu bino biwanvu kati ngeno nungi nyo 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 era nkusaba ogendo ojinonyo tuva wano ogendo ojinonyo oji pushing a father ojongere yo oji pushing a father ojongere chindese kukuitira mu ya paine ngiri jiba compiling ze mbulu nyo Nge kuzamu amani na weke nyini nyini nge ku inspiringa ukube iranga maybe you can also take this root of activism you know yeah irando was a stugenda kuruwa bando bayite bagambe inti jebi mwonge atandise bagambe inti jebi mwonge talk show etandise iranga tuasimbu deda hmm? mwabayite bajeto tandike alright mpozi nechi dala Nige kukashia button yako, ujongere yu. Message yeno, ya, ya makuru nyo nyo. President of, of course, a sharing the platforms. Jimmy Spire, the sharing platforms. Nawe nkusaba, genda masongo, ujipushinga father. Yukuzamu, izamu amanya, ati inspiring about activists. Ati ila, e making about activists, aba pia. Ila neva wa options. Inti chiche nso, msiwa mba gambu wano, tuwezule chiche oso ulo kukoreda, nchuka chuke eno. Ogenda chifu na munu wangu wadito chifu na anga. Alright, let's get started. Now, baku gamba wano, the humor is powerful. Cartoons taking on Uganda's depressive government. Of course, chifu na nyingi. Bachite kawecha James Pius and Tongo. And subide, mula ulunji ku screen. Hirangi vigambe mumu musoro biso mabulu unji. Kupa njagala na we wapirenga o gobele la bulu unji. Alright, let's get started. Uganda ni cartoonist James Pius and Tongo. Didn't you know? What he was starting last April when he sent out a tweet encouraging people to post photos of the ubiquitous potholes across the country's capital. A friend of mine is organizing a mega Kampala pothole photo exhibition, he wrote on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, on April 15th last year. Share here photos of potholes in Kampala city with location, depth, circumference, and the estimated age of the pothole. He asked his followers to tag the Kampala Capital City Authority, that is cases A, and their counterpart, responsible for the country's roads. Back in 2005, there were efforts to stage physical exhibitions of the country's infamous potholes, what locals call ponds 
in the roads because of their size. But these attempts were swatted by the police, recalls St. Ongo. Of course, we have been working in 2005. We have been working physically on the street. Police, in 2005, every attempt Ukubiranga abantu bavao bagende ku street babeko kwe kalakasa ku staging police omanyengi rije yanukula mu tia gasi masasi ngera we batabana on the 18th and the 19th gabageza ako kwe kalakasa rwachi bakwata president chagulanyi center mu bati bumenywa mateka ngataina musango na gumugwa ko zechi gwaziza so this is just an explanation simply because it is attached on the roads nayenga this kind of response from police it is spanning uh, uh, areas uh, in Piti Divunyo. Now, so the idea to hold an exhibition online came to mind, says Sentong 45. He comes across as a deep thinker, taking time to consider his responses before speaking. Sentong admits that the tweet Sentong admits that the tweet calling for portal photos was Partly joking, partly sounding out how it would be received, adding that he didn't plan to turn it into a grand initiative. The work today one of his works, you know. Hey, executive director, what is this? Abungamba, stop sending me pictures of Kampara portals. I know, and you know, Abungamba, and we are sure on top of the problem. Anyway, you know, cheshering about that. That was the, in 2023. But that's exactly what happened. Ugandan started uploading their photos immediately. In response, Joshua Mutabazi added at least five photos to the thread, including one that shows a 30 centimeter 12 inch pothole with a 3.5 meter circumference that he estimated was two years old. By the end of the day, there were more than 13,000 tweets with the hashtag Kampala Pothole Exhibition posted by fed up citizens in the pothole placued country. Now, you know, you can't call it a pothole, but of course, you can call it a Now, you can't call it a pothole. You can't call it a pothole. Uh, miyake bidi, uh, then ya chifi mabulu nyo nyo bunene nabu take out and all that kind of thing. Now, wetu yungeda wa nubaku gamba, and with the physical protests, with the physical protests all but buried in the country, this was an opportunity to hold the government accountable. And to Uganda's surprise, there were results. Within a day, KCCA's Executive Director Dorothy Saka made a public statement about the pothole situation, saying that the authority was constrained by inadequate government funding. The same day in Parliament, the, the Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayewa asked the Minister of Kampara, Capital City, and Metropolitan Affairs about the state of the roads. Less than a week after the online outrage began, Aging Yoel Museveni 79 ordered the country's Ministry of Finance to immediately release 6 billion shillings to repair the roads. The next month, his son Kainalugawa Mohoz inspected some of them. This was the birth of a new form of protest in the East African nation where those who have taken to the streets to demonstrate tend to languish in jail. Let's continue. Nearly a year since that first exhibition call, Sentong has been involved in six more. About hospital conditions, foreign recruitment scandals, corruption and nepotism within non-government organizations, NGOs, human rights abuses, and more. Each campaign has used a specific hashtag such as Uganda Heritage Exhibition and asked people to post evidence, photos, videos, audio, documents, 
of neglect or abuse by authorities. Some Ugandans have likened the protests to the Arab Spring. What's remarkable is that the soft-spoken and the unassuming cartoonist has been able to continue demonstrating online when other physical events such as climate protests and what was dubbed the work to work campaign in opposition to correcting food prices have been shut down by police or fizzled out. Other online protests have been other online protests have been attempted. In 2020, Patience Ahumuza, a digital communications professional, started the Wear That Mean campaign aimed at fighting online body shaming. She posted a photo of herself in a miniskirt and invited other Ugandan women to do the same. Hundreds of photos were uploaded. Even though it died out, feminist movements like this laid the foundation for St. Tongo's campaigns, not human rights lawyer Godwin Toko, who now helps spearhead the online exhibitions. Now, let's go through some of the a world drawn history that is, of, of course, of St. Tongo, such that you get to know the person of St. Tongo. St. Tongo says that he's motivated by the desire and passion to see things done better in the country or things done more justly. He explained that this caring for the other, being mindful, reflects his training in two religious seminaries. Although he was expelled from one institution and dropped out of another because he didn't have the calling. However, St. Tongu did not find a calling. At, however, St. Tongu did find a calling as a political cartoonist while he was teaching ethics at a local university. Uganda newspapers began printing political cartoonists in the 1960s. During the 1970s, in the era of the late dictator Idi Amin, they were used to parody social issues, St. Tongo says. They avoided the political discussions, but by the 80s had moved it to cover political matters, he explains. However, there hadn't yet been academics, philosophers, or writers who were also cartoonists, says St. Tongo. This was an advantage for them in expanding modes of speech, especially on uncomfortable issues, plus triggering public debate through the hard to ignore vessel of humor, he says. Despite no formal training, he tried his hand at it, taking inspiration from Ugandan cartoonists such as Fred Senoga, Fred Senoga Makubia, Gomanyinga Senogi, famous for an illustration in the late 1990s portraying an army major general as a char as a chicken and the president as the chicken owner deciding what to do with his animals. In 2005, Saint Tong walked into the office of local newspaper, The Observer, and they handed then deputy managing editor Piercy Cartoons a portfolio of work. Cartoons was impressed with one of his illustrations mocking the power cuts that were taking place in Uganda. In the cartoon, one local marabou stock is poking his beak directly in the face of another as they dangle on a power line. I tell you, it used to be quite dangerous to stand on these wires. The first stock says, hmm, replies his friend. Of course, for those of you who remember very well in 2005 for me Nalimu primary seven yeah I was in primary seven at Breast Sacrament Chimanya primary school power cut put gamba a masanya zagabe na gana time table gamu mani bulungi kwa fetwa gani ngo kusaba ngo mani bulungi inti orwari roji gari kumande then inchati gari iko inchati gari kuroku satu kuroku na tegari iko Kuroka no kwe gali, kuromka gati gali. Kunga wo, utuwa tu gena mu preps. We used to pray before we go to preps. 
I was in the boarding section by then. Nga what were together for preps? Ngero manyira on tota wana nakutwa la bitabo. Genda against for prayers. Then he come out mu dormitories. I remember very well. So he is exp- he explained that scenario mweno katuni one of the managing directors of the observer jaya garinyo yao so santongo has been working for the paper on a freelance basis ever since he is not someone given to excitement but he cares says cartoons now managing director of the observer generally he's a quiet person you don't think all these kinds of things will come out of him but he's a deep thinker Sontongo, who is also a columnist and he has published several books is known for his uh satirical writing people therefore easily relate to the crossover between his cartoon subjects and his other work says the cartoonist but I am also facilitated by my philosophy background, Sentongo adds. Still, he didn't expect his online campaign to resonate with so many. The deployment of humor in the exhibitions has been disarming, especially in the pothole exhibition, says Sentongo. What could they, the government, do about people simply making fun of the horrible capital city roads? They would have looked stupid had they tried to use violence on us. Humor is powerful in repressive environments, triumphs and tragedies. Social media is uncertain terrain in Uganda where Museveni has ruled since 1986. In 2021, he banned Facebook in the lead up to elections which pushed many Ugandans to Twitter, now X. The president and his son are prolific users of the platform, making it hard to block it. Sentongo points out, this is one reason why his digital protests survived. Partly, it is because they cannot shut down all the channels. And they know from the experience of shutting down Facebook that you just close the door and people use the other, he says. But... There have been severe repercussions for some who used social media to criticize the government. Nearly two years ago, a satirical novelist, no, novelist Kakwenza Lekalabashaja was detained, tortured, and arrested for offensive communication after calling the president's son, Kanilugaba Ani, incompetent pig headed <laughs> and the obese on ex-activist and the academic stanyas was jailed for labeling the president a pair of on facebook and convicted of cyber harassment in 2017. both sought refugee in germany there is kakwenza many in uganda now use a pseudonym on social media says isaac Tibasima, an assistant lecturer in the Department of Literature at Macquarie University, who has taught with the same tongue. But Jimmy was the kind of guy that said, no, I'll use my handle and I do not care what's going to come out. Social media made him so popular that while once reluctant to call himself a political activist, he now embraces the term. Today, some want St. Tongo to run for president, but he's but he humbly drags it off. He thinks the online exhibitions have been popular because they serve as a form of therapy. Just some avenue to vent to get some temporary relief, says Ntongo. But it, it's really encouraging that it has made so many people active, even, even those that have been quiet. Many voices more than 10 million across YouTube, Twitter, Reddit spoke to the Uganda Herethe exhibition campaign launched just after the pothole protest. Some of the responses which are still being posted show patients sleeping on hospital floors and frag medical and supply shortages and rundown equipment. Yeah, 
cartoons is how is illustrating all that the latest protest the uganda parliament exhibition which has been running since late february and highlights issues of suspect government may be the most contentious contentious yet it has so far led the country's inspector general of government igg the ugandan government arm that investigates corruption to open a probe into parliament after allegations of misuse of public funds national police spokesperson fred enanga and kampara metropolitan police spokesperson patrick onyango referred al jazeera to the igg which did not respond to requests for comment this is a rare in uganda health ministry spokesperson emmanuel ainiliona whom many journalists are choose of dodging their questions responded directly to some of the posts on the Uganda Health Exhibition last year. He tells Ari Jezera that many of the issues flagged on X have been addressed and they've been tackled and they've tackled health worker worker shortages among other measures. The protests have been successful in exposing nepotism and corruption in Uganda where the media are restricted intimidated and bribed says Agatha Atayili a Ugandan journalist and activist who was recently recognized with the International Women of Courage award she's also co-founder of Agora a local platform for citizen engagement inspired by the pothole campaign she approached Sentongo in June about leading an exhibition about the rotten NGOs. The digital activism revolution has been huge, says Atwaile. It's a new thing. I think that's why the authorities must be worried about it. There is nothing they can do about it. Smear campaigns and threats. Now, I want you to pay attention on this. Amid the success of the public exhibitions, there have also been worries. The first time that Sentong realized his campaigns might be putting his life in danger was last April, after a second health care system protest. An acquaintance alerted him to a possible threat to his life and advised Sentong to leave the country soon. He didn't and then tweeted, Should they arrest me? Proceed. With the exhibition they can't arrest the exhibition soon afterwards he was summoned to a police station for cyber stalking however the case was dropped at says that she has also been threatened directly and indirectly she's been followed and was warned that her phone had been tapped there's also been what senton calls a smear campaign with the tabloids running stories about alleged affairs with the university students and claims of sexual harassment all all clearly geared towards silencing me he says look labashaija says it's difficult to predict what it's difficult to predict with certainty whether he can end up like me tortured and exiled but sometimes i pity and worry about him given the unpredictable a predictability of authoritarian regimes like this one in Uganda their responses to dissent sometimes come indirectly in the form of financial harassment and explain the knockdown or assassinations poisoning trumped up charges among other brutal things he says Nyans expects that Sentong will be arrested soon the threats have already started she says that's how it started with me. Sentongo has evaded the author- authorities. Sentongo has evaded the authorities so far, says Toko, because he has a serious profile with the academia, in the diplomatic circles, and even with a lot of ordinary Ugandans now. From what happened with Rukulabashaija, the government knows that touching him can cause serious issues. But it's too early to declare Sentongo safe, the lawyer stresses. He's been an outright activist for less than a year, says Toko. However, 
his profile keeps growing. So this may mean it's hard now and will be even harder with the time. Senogo says he Senogo says he can't explain why he hasn't been arrested yet, nor the motivation and methods of the government. Hybrid regimes don't easily render themselves to prediction and explanation, he says. How they choose their targets, you can't tell. You only pray that you survive. For now, he wishes to remain in Uganda. If I have a tipping point, there are certain things I wouldn't have I wouldn't want to happen. I wouldn't want to lose my life. Certainly my job be harmed in any way, physically or mentally, psychologically, by the things you go through when you go through character assassination. But it's the current situation that is happening at the time that determines your mental state. Does he have an escape plan? Maybe I'm naive or foolhardy, but I want to tell myself that I won't have to run, he says thoroughly. I'll cross that river when I get to it. I don't think Stella or Kakwenza planned the area to escape. These days, St. Tungu's cartoons avoid subjects like people's personal personal matters, including those of government figures, unless their privacy is entangled with the accountability. There are some people you have to critique carefully, and certain topics that you have to be very careful about, such as LGBT-related issues, says St. Tungu, referring to an anti-gay law that Uganda approved a year ago. But he has approached even this subject, drawing a few cartoons about the new act and even several of the present son. Mm. Of course, this one is recent. St. Tungu can't say how long the exhibitions will last and for all of their success he finds it unsettling that digital protests may become the norm in uganda because the freedom to take to the streets doesn't exist i find it uncomfortable that many people want to look at that as a new solution sentango says they want to look at that as an approach that we should use to run away from other traditional methods these different approaches should only be reinforcing each other but not to be seen as alternatives or repress the other that was the article so be ojifunye bulungi ngabo imba denjagala ojifune chitu yamba those are as he was concluding ogamba and of course i'm talking bagamba nti this form of protest taking over no let each one of the options the twin aku tables complementing each other you know a is complementing each other genda ku street to gende what day of course to what the dictator again a quality but a college you to go and go along that you must all know when to win a copy at bully juki danti even this exact one it has a look kill up much in a gamma cuttings got the uh twitter and got the x Asulu kila kumacha na gamba katins jeko internet ingawe ya chiko la during election. So, point irinti, let us explore each and the every option. Kitusulu kubira na yo, tujiteke bulonji kutebo, tujitesti ingewe bangi yekola, eo, wabe kaba jikola chi, haba taking that route. Why am I saying so? Simply because not each and every Uganda is on X. Sorry. Not each and every Ugandan is on X. Not each and every Ugandan is on YouTube. Not each and every Ugandan is on, on, on Facebook. Facebook is, is being uh, banned in Uganda. As in some people don't know how to use VPN. So, yeah. I wound up because I wanted to just uh, get you this article. to get you this article. Bino 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 tubikole obulamu bwaba no ba comrades ba fe buli matiga go cho ino kumanya like spire buli matiga atwaile buli matiga godwin buli matiga bonabona 
Nawa la labanji Buli matiga Nga Nawa ububu Buli matiga because Anything can happen to you At any time, at any place Chota sola kusubila Sajia na agama Anti yaba destroy bread Anti yaba sirikari bagenda wakubabu kumi masasi Nga wabasanzi so, wabwa nubu inzo kubeda matiga, wafu wa activists, nubu inzo kubeda matiga, ulewe vya tukola. Na yati na wabwa uli matiga, because Uganda is not safe. Uganda ana mseveni, tewe nangako, safe. Alright guys, nusubide. Jen kusaba, gena masonga pushinga atikeno, gena masonga na wezu lachi choso ulo kore la enchuka chukeno, katinga spaya walimu netimu ye. Na wezu ulo nubu gama na ye, tukoze tutia ukubeda nga tuga take tafari. Bantu banji wa sumi wa inazi PhD wa inazi masters Nete ziga saa Nzuri okujo kune wanida kumbu simanyi wa chitivu wa nyo simanyi ya soma nyo simanyi ya ina sinuri tenene nyo simanyi vichi Nenga taina Ewe vina vina vya ina tebitu yamba Abata Vya yo gena nzi vate viko lachi Vivate vi india So at least nsolo kusari yutinga spire Uruwe nso nganti ya kose za Obu igiri zewe Okusoro kuberanga Agata ko etafari Edene kuchuka chuka yachi Ya Uganda e, Artist as well do mu, o, o, o. Ukutandika exhibition Zingazi na taba antubani ni wakulachi Ni wazizi zumbira Uvanga kuchiba ita and within a day Aba antulukumu visa tupa solo kuenge jinga In a post So ni wabeda, Amini aba antu mtualo gumu wengu misatu Aba antubani So atenga That was just one day Statistics one as well as Ziva kugambi, ziva kulaze wana So, chichenge zako kugamba Nawe, ubeda angolava Nga, mdadadala mbutufu tuetagisa Uganda Empia, tuetagisi nchuka chuka Wezule Beda kuchokola, ubeda angolava Saze kusapotinga muno Musapotingi, ubanga nao Saze kutandika uku Kulowoza, brainstorminga nolowoza No gama, ntina ye What can I do? Nawe ngo chukola, because tuina kubeda banji Tuina kubeda na Bobby Wine omu A a Tetuina kubana spy omu, neda, tetuina kubana Dr. Kiza vesi yomu, a, a, tetuina kubana nava, no. Tuina kubana nga tuliba iti divu, nyo, 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 nyo. Chula anga, sometimes I feel bad. Uh, Uleja wanagama, antijebi mkwazi saru ganda, haba ntu message, tiba jifuna, nawe vayo. Zenyu zo kubana, I'm comfortable, ukubana nga mkwazi saru ganda. Vayo na uchipinge in. Ukamita anze kanzi jembe ringa anzo kola mbuzungu program wa mtu mba, 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 mba pushing the message on the other side. Vayo message na utandi kukubiranga kwa you are purely presenting in Lusoga, in Lunyankoli, in Lucholi. It shouldn't techina kubira fefe kanti over JB Mwonge ye kanti over Masaba ye kanti over ye kolida ye kanti. No, we are over 47 million Ugandans. Chino chengi kwa mati wezule. Iwezulo gaminti na ye What can I do for this revolution? What can I do for the change? Chituita aga as soon as yesterday So, chichibuzo chengkule kede Unache damu, answer yunayone na kujira Make it a routine Bye bye Salute